transcending everyday life state is the motto of today's TEDx event. I will talk about music and astronomy. What is more transcending? Stars, planets, galaxies, black holes, or maybe your favorite song. What is more transcending? Music or astronomy? The answer is very easy. Both. In, in 1977, three major events happened. First, I was born in El Escorial, a pretty town in Madrid. Second, it was the release of Star Wars Episode IV, A New Hope. Okay, you know the song, right? Good. That's the, that was the Luke Skywalker's uh, theme. The third event was the launch of the NASA space missions Voyager 1 and 2 to Jupiter, Saturn, and beyond. So since I was four years old, I wanted to be an astronaut. When I realized that, sorry, astronaut and visit other planets. And when I realized that that was impossible, I said, OK, I will be an astronomer and will detect exoplanets. Exoplanets are planets around other stars different from our, our sun. I defended my thesis in 2006, uh, six, and it was on astrophysics, stars, brown dwarfs, and non-deuterium burning free-floating substellar objects, which is just called rogue planets. Every chapter of the thesis, which by the way received the prize of the Spanish Astronomical Society to the best thesis, started with the lyrics of the songs that accompanied me during long nights at the telescope and during long days in front of the computer. Those songs were Wolfgang, uh, from Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart to Ludwig van Beethoven, from the Beatles to David Bowie, from Vangelis to Mike Oldfield, from Metallica to Marilyn Manson, from the Chemical Brothers to the Prodigy, from Enrique Morente to Lagartija Nick. One of those songs was Saved by a Bell in Mike Oldfield's album Discovery. Would you like to look through my telescope? My telescope at that time was the 1.5 meter telescopio Carlos Sanchez at the Observatorio del Taide in the Canary Islands. But now my telescope is the Zeiss 3.5 meter Calar Alto telescope in Almería. But what I'm showing here is the Gran Telescopio Canarias, 10.5 meters, the largest optical near-infrared telescope in the world, the three of them in Spain. Would you like to look through my telescope? The Milky Way is a fine sight to see. The Milky Way is a band of light that one can see at night from dark places. It is made of billions of stars of our galaxies, the Galaxias Kiklos, the Via Lactea, and our sun is located in one of its spiral arms from far from its center. The, the song goes on. Make a trip down to Sagittarius. Sagittarius, the centaur, is a constellation, and in, in its di direction, it is the center of the galaxy. With a very powerful telescope, we can see stars, star clusters, that orbit around a center called Sagittarius A, a star, which is a supermassive black, black hole of 4,000 4, million solar 
masses. This video that I'm showing, prepared by the European Southern Observatory and with data compiled with the instrument gravity of the uh, very large telescope, is a zoom towards the center of the galaxy where the black hole is located. And it is not the black hole of yesterday in the center of the galaxy M87. My favorite rock band is Lagartija Nick, Spanish. Their songs deal with the sun, with planets, with uh, spaceships, with Maria on the moon. Azora 67, Sura 67, is the first and only song devoted to fight against something that uh, affects a lot the astro astronomers' observation, which is light pollution. Do you want to hear Azora 67? Yes. Do you really want to hear Azora 67? Yes. Okay, let's go. It's coming. Okay, 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 don't, don't be afraid. December 2009, Granada, Spain. Closing ceremony of the International Year of Astronomy. First, Professor Robert Wilson explained us how he and his college, Arno Pensayast, discovered the cosmic microwave background radiation for which he and Arno got the Nobel Prize. He was my opening actor, my curtain raiser, because the headliner was myself talking on music and astronomy, accompanied on a stage with live music made, of, made by Antonio Arias, alma mater of Lagartija Nick, and members of rock bands Lori Meyers and Los Planetas. There, we premiered some of the songs of Antonio Arias' album, Multiverso. The first track of the album was El ordenador simula el nacimiento de las estrellas. Computer simulates the birth of stars. Years later, we produced a video clip prepared with the hydrodynamical simulations of my friend Matthew Bate at the University of Exeter. Last years of my professional career have been devoted mostly to Carmenes. Carmenes means Calar Alto High Resolution Search for M dwarfs with exoearths with near infrared and optical HL spectrographs. In short, Carmenes is a machine to discover planets like our Earth around the nearest stars, something that in the past was science fiction. For example, with Carmenes, we have detected uh, a cold exo-Earth around Barnard star, which is the second closest stellar system to the Sun. As a project manager and instrument astronomer of Carmenes, I have been involved in 
all aspects of the instrument, from science to engineering, from the um, star input catalog to the spectral database, from the logo to the soundtrack, because Carmen S was the first astronomical instrument with a soundtrack, of course, prepared by Antonio Arias of Lagartijanic and featuring Solea Morente, uh, the young daughter of uh, Enrique Morente. That was the day that we installed the front end of uh, Carmenes at the Cassegrain focus of the 3.5 meter telescope at Calaralto. Listen to the lyrics. Exo Earths around stars like our sun. Most of them are very cool. Their years take a few days and we will have to wait over a decade to find another Earth. Um, now I'm a collaborator of Longitud de Onda, a program in uh, Radio Clásica, which is the Spanish equivalent to BBC Radio 3, and there we play uh, music um, related to astronomy, for example, in Jupiter, but we do not play Holst, um, the planets, or um, Mozart, the symphony number 41, Jupiter. That was very easy. Once we invited Pedro Duque, uh, an astronaut, and now Minister of Science, with Fer and Yolanda. But I still uh, keep my collaborations with rock, electronica, and pop, and I have helped preparing the soundtracks of Quixote, Qui Joint Tenerife, which is an instrument for measuring the polarization of the cosmic microwave background radiation, of Gaia DR1, the billion star surveyor, of Cassini, the NASA mission to Saturn, or of ESTRAC, which is the network of satellite tracking stations of the European Space Agency. Uh, the last example was together with the band Fario, and we prepared, closing the circle, a soundtrack for the space missions Voyager, Voyager 1 and 2. And just for, for the end, we will listen for one minute um, Voyager 2, number one, Viajera 1, Introversion by Fario, Monse Sánchez, Javier Luengo, Maria Schultz. May the force be with you, and goodbye from the children of planet Earth. Thank you. <laughs>